This video is sponsored by Opus Clips, but more on them later. When I made a video about my first month being monetized on YouTube, it took off six months later to the tune of half a million views. I gained a lot of subscribers, and for that, I'm grateful. But first things first, this is a personal finance channel. I talk about fintech, budgeting, lowering expenses, and increasing income in simple ways. And since I got monetized, YouTube has been one of the ways that I've been trying to increase my own income as a side hustle. And because of that, I like to throw an update on the channel every once in a while to show you how it's going. Because I try to be transparent on this channel and this is one of my only side hustles. This is not a YouTube tips and tricks channel. It's just one where I talk about money. So if it's something that you're interested in, then subscribe. Otherwise today I want to show you what my first year being monetized on YouTube actually looked like. I'll go over the views I brought in, the amount of revenue that I earned, as well as the rate at which YouTube pays me for my content. Then I'll show you all the revenue streams related to my YouTube channel, including sponsorships, affiliate revenue, referral bonuses, and financial coaching. And I'll show you what my projected hourly rate has been while building this YouTube channel. I've got a lot of real numbers numbers in this video, so enjoy the stats and let's jump in. It took a while for me to get my YouTube channel monetized. Over 20 months, if I'm remembering correctly, for me to get my 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. And over six months of that was just me trying to get my first 100 subscribers. It was a grind. But I got monetized on September 13th, 2022 and earned $2.30 that day. The rest of my first year being monetized had some interesting fluctuations. Let me show you some analytics. The first eight months of monetization were pretty normal. Slowly growing along, except for right here where I had a spike because I posted a video about the Ramsey Solutions dev card, which was released the same day. At this point, I was getting around 500 views a day with consistent growth. And I earned almost $1,000 in that period with a maximum day of $13.73. Pretty exciting because any money that I earn from this channel goes directly back into the business. Now, here's where things got interesting. Late May, something happens that I've never had happen before on this channel. Now, back in December of 2022, I posted a video about my first month being monetized on YouTube. And on May 22nd of 2023, it went exponential. It went from 240 views in a day on the 22nd to 459 views on the 23rd to over 1,700 views the next day and over 4,600 views the following day, all the way to the peak where it gained 59,087 views in a single day. Now we're not Mr. Beast over here, so that freaking blew my mind. That day the channel earned $113, so that also blew my mind. So when you look at the rest of my first year being monetized, the views look pretty flat, at least compared to that viral event, even though my views did continue to increase throughout the year. In early May, I was averaging around 600 views a day, and then after it had settled down a little bit, then I normalized closer to an average of like 750 to 800 views a day. Today I'm sitting a little closer to 950 views a day. So here's what you all came for. The total ad revenue for my first year being monetized on YouTube while bringing in almost 739,000 views. Da 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 da! $2,857.16. If we go back to the viral video, then we can see that $1,204 of that was from that single video. Now, if we jump over to the revenue tab, we can look at what our CPM and our RPM is for my first year being monetized on YouTube. Down below, we have, let's see, for 725,000 views, our RPM, which is the amount that I actually get paid, is $3.94 per thousand views. Now that's a little lower than what I would expect for my personal finance channel, but I believe that's because of the viral video. So we jump over here, let's check out the revenue tab, scroll down, and yes, our RPM for that video was $2.31. And given the number of views on that video, that really impacted my average RPM for the entire channel in my first year. But it's hard to argue with that when I earned $1,200 from that single video. The interesting thing is that the CPM was actually closer to $11. Why it's so high and the RPM is so low? Honestly, I don't know. Clearly, it's difficult making any progress on YouTube and growing your own channel. I mean, I've been at this for three years now. My problem is that while some YouTubers are saying, I want to see TikToks, I want to see shorts, I want to see reels. I barely have enough time to post a video a week on my channel, which is why I've been trying out our sponsor, Opus Clips, to help me get more short form content posted. Opus Clips will actually help you take videos that you've already posted and turn them into shorts. Its AI technology will take parts of videos that it thinks are going to make good clips and then it automatically puts captions on it. One, the captions are super accurate and I haven't seen it screw up any 
of mind. And two, the captions aren't only captions, they emphasize in everything, which helps maintain people's attention while they're watching your shorts or reels or TikToks or whatever. And more watch time is always better for you. Now I'm gonna be honest, not every clip is perfect by any means, but when you put a link into the Opus program, it'll spit out a lot of clipped videos for you to use, letting you choose which clips you like the best. And if you're on the paid plan, it'll actually let you edit the clips so you can get it just right. Personally, I've found that for my own use, Opus does best for longer form content like interviews and podcasts, but that doesn't mean it can't put out good shorts from your three to 10 minute videos. So use my link in the description down below and give it a shot for your own channel. You can use the free level in order to analyze 60 minutes of your own videos just by plugging in a link. And voila, short form content. Now for what I think is the most interesting part of this video, I'm gonna break down all parts of my revenue that I've earned through the YouTube channel. And I'm gonna show you how much total I've earned in the last three years. The cool thing is ad revenue is not the only way to earn money through YouTube. For me, there's also been some sponsored videos, affiliate revenue, financial coaching, and referral bonuses. So in this part of the video, I'll tell you the totals in each of those categories. And I'll calculate my hourly rate, where I expand my earnings beyond the ad revenue to all parts of revenue associated with the YouTube channel. Last time I did a video like this, I found out I was earning $3.46 an hour. Maybe this time I'll be closer to minimum wage. I don't know, I'm just writing the script. I haven't even figured this out yet. Obviously that was script writing, Caleb talking. This is filming, Caleb, I already know. Okay, here's the breakdown. In the last three years, sponsorships have totaled $2,050. Financial coaching has totaled $200 through YouTube. Referral bonuses have totaled $2,788 from a ton of FinTech reviews that I've done. And affiliate revenue is $534. Not bad at all. That's over $5,500 earned outside of YouTube ad revenue, but still earned through the YouTube channel. For real, you don't have to be monetized in order to make money on YouTube. And as of filming this on December 8th, I've earned $3,635.05 from ad revenue on the YouTube channel. Now between all five streams of revenue that I've mentioned here that are related to the YouTube channel, I've earned $9,207.05. Script writing Caleb was genuinely surprised at this number. I'm genuinely surprised at this number. Can you have a laptop or something for writing? I'm genuinely surprised at this number. Of course, that's over three years and 209 videos, which if I estimate about eight hours per video between script writing, filming, editing, and posting, that puts my total time, which is probably pretty conservative, at 1,672 hours, which puts my total hourly rate at $5.51. Hey, I've surpassed the halfway mark to Ohio's minimum wage. Obviously, this is not a lucrative side hustle, but this video hopefully serves two objectives. One, I hope it gives people a realistic look at how much time and effort goes into making money on social media. Most people don't see a meteoric rise with their content. If you do this, I don't want you to do it for the money, but because you love the content. For me, I freaking love personal finance and nerd out about budgeting and everything. That's what keeps me making these videos. Two, this video is to serve as a way for my own personal finance viewers to see an actual side gig that I'm working to build and to genuinely see how it's going because I try to be transparent on this channel. But seriously, I have to thank you all for watching because it, this wouldn't be here without you, especially my regular viewers. And as of the day of this posting, it's been exactly three years since I posted my first video on the channel. So that's pretty cool. Now subscribe here if you wanna see more content focused on helping you master your money and watch this video or watch this video next.